Evening, YouTube. Hey, just wanted to update you on the uh, progress of the Fred Henry appreciation build um, that I'm doing. Um, I've got like, seems like four builds going at the same time. Um, I'm going to have to stop that because it just doesn't work for me. Uh, one build at a time and this one's got my attention. So this is the one we're going to work on and this is the one we're going to try to complete if the weather cooperates. Um, so Fred Henry appreciation build. Um, I'm doing the 70 Chevelle. Um, this was the Baldwin motion. So the hood's got that Baldwin uh, L88 hood scoop, I think it's called. Um, <clears throat> so I was able to do some fabrication on it and get it this far. Um, I have a stance now, and that is the stance that I'm going with. Um, and just so you're aware, the rear tires are resting on the inner um, tub, and the front is resting on the cross member. So there is no lower unless I go in here and cut that cross member out and relocate it. And that's a thought. Um, it's going <clears> to <throat> cause problems for the engine, I think, and it might even cause problems with the radiator. But um, if I can get the stance lower than that, then I would think that it would be worth it. But I don't know. What do you guys think? It, it looks pretty good where it's at. So I might go with that. Um, going with the uh, aftermarket wheels from... I think it's called VCG Resins by Reese. Um, they had um, some really cool wheels. Got new ownership at that company, and he's putting out some really cool stuff. Got some really nice resin motors. Um, if you're into the drag scene, uh, he's got some uh, really cool different different things there that I like. Um, and he made the, he made these Comp Seven drag wheels and I went ahead and bought those um, and they look really good on there. Um, the engine that came with this vehicle um, was a 454 big block, which I thought was cool. <clears throat> but when I pulled it out, it's all molded in one piece. So the um, there was no starter, there was no oil pan, there was nothing, it was all molded into one big hunk of plastic which i hate so went on the run and i was able to one of the things that i have always wanted to do but i could never really find a project to make it work um, was get a motor an aftermarket um, resin motor from iceman so for this particular build um, i went to iceman collections um, and I was able to pick up a 632 big block. So um, we're going to pull that out and start working on it. Make sure it fits in here. I'm sure it will. Um, I, don't, I don't have any doubts because I looked at the uh, transmission and it's actually more narrow um, than the uh, kit transmission. So I think it'll go in there. Um, wanted to pull off the um, body um, and show you some of the things I've been doing to fab this thing up. The very first thing is, is I, I cut this piece out. And the reason I cut that out, if you guys remember, um, this had hinge holes in it and I didn't like the look of that. I wanted it to be cleaner. So I cut this piece and molded it in and um, still some cleanup work around the edges to do, but um, all in all, I like the way it looks. And it mates up with um, the firewall. So the firewall um, <clears throat> had to cut a couple pieces out to basically put in here. And then my, um, my door cards will go in there just like that. Um, now... This will go in and it'll seal in really nice. Um, and as you can see, it's a pretty good made up. So um, I built this shelf in here. Um, 
And the reason I did that is because I wanted a flat piece that went all the way back between the tubs because this is going to be exposed. There's not going to be a rear seat in here. And then I put, <clears throat> put the stop back here. So um, I basically leveled it off, basically leveled this piece off with that piece. So it's level all the way across there. Um, if I can get it in there again. Yeah, so it's level across there. I like that look. Now I just have to fab a piece from here to here. And then <clears throat> the body will rest on there real nice. Um, I have uh, decided that I was going to um, paint the interior um, semi-gloss um, black and uh, semi-gloss um, or a flat um, light gray. Um, I like that color combination with the color that I'm painting the body, which is one of two colors. It's either this one, which is the, um, what is that? Is it Blue Pearl, is that right? Yeah, Blue Pearl by Tamiya or the Star Spangled Banner Blue, one shot by Testers. Uh, both really good paints. Um, I like them both, and uh, I've used both. And um, kind of want to do the Blue Pearl um, and because it, Fred likes to paint his with spray cans um, using the Temp Tamiya. And then we're going to put... Um, now I know Fred doesn't like this, but I am, <clears throat> I love 2K clear and I love the finish I get with 2K clear. So I'm going to use 2K clear. Um, what else? Um, I just wanted to share with you some of my ways of doing this. Um, you know, when you get this all together, you're not going to see a lot of this stuff. Um, and how I get these, how I get these, um, c cards to work is basically a, I cut them out using my hobby knife and I use a um, 20.20 styrene card for all of it. And um, I also use um, index cards. So you'll notice right here is my index card for card stock. So basically I make a template. So I'll be making a template here. Um, and then just draw it out and then cut it out and <clears throat> no mess, no muss. Um, what else? Um, got a lot of work to do on it. Uh, got a long way to go, um, but we're getting there. Um, underneath side, um, and just added some styrene on the sides. Um, I'm probably gonna have to narrow these down. Um, and but the next step is to get the uh, one piece on the side, the uh, <clears throat> the door cards finished, and then work on the engine. Um, I'm also working on the Tamiya Senna. Um, I decided on their Victory Gray. This is a this is a color from Splash. Um, with the highlights on it, it's gonna look phenomenal. Um, so I'm going to be doing that in 2K clear as well. That's the next step on that. Um, and last but not least, I wanted to do a shout out to, um, the hobby store that I get all my kits from, uh, it's a company called, um, AK Collectibles. He has a website. I think it's called Model Cars and More is the name of the website. Um, but a guy by the name of Frank, um, he he has all these kits. Um, for instance, this kit, which is an older kit. It's Baldwin Motion 1970 Chevelle. Um, online, this kit's 40 bucks. Well, I went into his store and he gave it to me for 25. So <clears throat> he has reasonable prices for all this stuff. He has um, a really good inventory. Um, so if you're looking for a kit, you can't find it. Um, go to model cars and more, or look up AK collectibles. Um, and I'll, 
leave a um, link down in the description um, to help you with uh, locating his website. But other than that, I think that's it for tonight. Um, Fred, it's going to be a good build. Um, I feel it coming around. And um, I want to give him a shout out because I um, spent about an hour with him on the phone and he was giving me um, tips and tricks. The reason I picked this model um, is I didn't think Fred had built this model. It's not, I, I didn't I didn't see it on his channel. Um, it was between this or the 69 Nova. And I chose this one because I didn't think he had built this one. Well, lo and behold, he had built this one. And it was on his on his channel. I just didn't go back far enough. Um, and I called him because I, I was struggling with this interior quite a bit. Um, I also reached out to um, uh, Butch over at Full Throttle Customs. So I want to give those two guys a shout out um, for their help, um, their tutelage and their mentorship and um, helping me along the way because I'm <clears throat> I'm new to this. This is all new, um, but I do like the scratch building and I'm going to continue doing it until I get really good at it. So everybody have a good night. Um, this is Terry and I'm out.